Hi, Queen. This is Viv again. Today, I am at 99% wardrobe. Will this number go up to 100% once I complete the Legends of Tulens? Oh, wait. Oops. There you go, Legends of Tulens. I have collected all of the materials after three straight months of grinding. Holy moly, this is so expensive. Oh, wait. What am I saying? It ain't expensive. This costs nothing. Zero diamonds, literally. So yeah, let's uh, craft it together this time, guys. If you want to see top tier gameplay from a 99%, almost 100% wardrobe player, please like this video for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe and I will love you a long time. Okay, so this is going to be a chain crafting sort of event. Oh, I can't wait for the final completion rewards. The completion rewards are so good. I will show you it at the end once I am done crafting. Wow, this is a really, really long chain of crafting thing. Holy moly, so this is my second time. Finishing the Legend of Tulens. I finished this in a Miracle Nikki, uh, both recolors, like the first recolor and the second recolor. I just think Legends of Tulens is so pretty in every single way possible. Oh, there we are. We're at the way in. All right. So this airing piece, you're gonna get it as a achievement completion. So uh, yeah, everyone should have this 100% free. And now, first piece, six star necklace, the dust of Mon another big word i don't know but there you go whoa three out of 14 right now okay next piece it's going to be the headdress let's craft this up and ooh, gorgeous elegant all right um next it's going to be the sleeves oh boy oh as you can see i have extra of this because i'm buying i bought the extra pieces because i I'm working on the recolor next. <laughs> it's probably going to be another three months, six months total to get the first recolor and then the second recolor. Oy. Next piece is going to be this. Uh, what the heck is this? I have this in Miracle Nikki. Oh, it's the face thing. It's, it's for her face. Yeah, there it is right there. And then next piece, it's going to be oh the staff. There you go. Notice that it's 20k gold to craft one piece. You have to have a lot of gold in order to craft this too. Oh, this one I need to recolor one more piece before I'm able to proceed. Oh wait, I, oh yeah, that's right. I don't have that. All I need to do now is recolor this shoe to this regular. Yeah, I'll get rid of the primary color. I don't care about that. I'll get it back later. Now, let's craft this another 20k gold. Oh my gosh, 8 out of 14 right now. I like how Legends of Tulens has so many different pieces. This will surely increase my wardrobe count, right? Right? Ooh, this thing is so cool too. It's like some kind of hieroglyphic golden kind of magical thing. <laughs> and then up next, it's going to be the birds are nice so this is like sort of the background piece gorgeous and mature dude they're bigger than expected and then it's going to be this this big black thing it makes for a perfect black background yeah there you go and then almost done almost done got the oh oh right i need to recolor this <laughs> okay next is going to be crafting the hair. <laughs> nice, a 12 out of 14 right now. And it's going to the makeup. Yes, there is this gorgeous makeup with this cool black eyeliner thing. Abyssus Echo, a 13 out of 14. Oh, you're going to get a second makeup too upon completing this, I think, if I remember correctly. Yeah. And then finally, at the way in it's going to be this mature sexy traditional tag legends of tools 14 out of 14 so completed heck yeah i am donezo with the first color and yeah up next it's going to be this recolor right here um yeah i'll show you how this looks like in three months it's gonna take a while i'm sure of it okay so 
first things first, let's collect the achievements. It's going to be under Wasteland, of course. Oh, the achievement is going to give me a bunch of stuff. It's going to be, yay, special pose, hair, special pose, dress, a second skin tone dress, and then, oh, earrings for dyeing, and then it's going to be a special pose headdress, a special pose masking, special pose earrings, and then another makeup with this really cool eyeliner, and a background as well, 40 diamonds back for my troubles. Imagine that, three months of trouble farming all of the materials and they only gave me back 40 diamonds. Mmm, show me at least 100 diamonds, come on. Come on, love Nikki, why are you so greedy? <laughs> anyway, I feel like if the diamond reward is higher, it'll, I think people will be more likely to attempt to craft it because I feel like people look at the requirements and they see how big it is and they're like, ah, no, <laughs> and then they just like, don't do it. I think it's worth it though. I do think it's worth it to try to craft because it is free to craft and it's like it's sort of a challenge thing. And you know, flexing. <laughs> <laughs> so flexing purposes, y'all. First up is going to be the hair, and it's going to be a special pose. Okay, this looks so weird without the makeup. There you go. And it's going to be this uh, hieroglyphic stingy. Here's the cool headdress, which goes so well with the gold on her hair. And then here's like the little mask thing. And then here's the earrings. And then it has this giant bird thing. And then black background nice and then special pose is oh i mean original pose is going to wait that's not the original pose original pose is going to look like this oh wait that's not the dang it I, why do i keep saying things wrong here's the dress <laughs> here's the um original color makeup and then wait no this is actually a special color because it's the Achievement award, yeah. And then here is the hieroglyphic sting, headdress, everything else remains the same. Only difference is the skin tone. Isn't this the only lifetime suit with two skin tones? That's really cool. That's why I really, really like Tulin's. She is a special one. So yeah, here is the, orig the second post skin tone. Here's the original post skin tone. And yeah, here is the original post hair dress, shoe, and then here's the headdress, here's the makeup thing, and then here's the neck choker, here are the sleeves, here's the eye thing, here's the earrings. Actually, I have another one of those earrings and I can recolor it now, right, I think? And then here's the skin tone that everyone gets for free. Here's the birds, the background, and then the makeup. Now, let's see how it looks like in the view room, and I'm gonna show you the really, really cool background as well. This is the new background, you can't see it, but let me get rid of the some stuff here. Two lens. Oh my gosh, she is so spicy. I love the designs on her dress. Look at that, it's like a black, feather thing and over here it has like white feathers absolutely stunning all right let's move her out of the way the other pieces there's going to be like three kind of background pieces it's going to be this giant anubis thing with the crisscross thing and then uh, let, let me make it smaller so yeah this item ginormous dude perfect for black backgrounds um next is going to be this a uh, bird Bird one, bird two, perched on this kind of Egyptian thingy, I don't know. <laughs> and up next is going to be these uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! eye hieroglyphic sort of thing. Uh, yeah, this really gives me Yu-Gi-Oh! vibes. <laughs> and yeah, let me show you the background here. Ooh, it's like inside the tombstone, right? I think, I'm not sure. So yeah, here it is, the Legends of Tulin's gorgeous suits. Absolutely give this a try. I, I recommend it because you get a huge sense of accomplishment when you finally complete the suits or you'll cry and give up. But I'm here to tell you to not give up. So how I am able to finish uh, this is I set it as my Momo's quest and then every day, 
I focus only on this suit. Like I would click on this item, for example, go in and I would do the princess attempts, do all three of them. And I just go down the list, like do the night ripple and then do the radiant trace, do the eternal speckle. I do all of this and I just keep at it every single day until I got all the pieces. I know it's tough because sometimes you do the princess stages and you get like zero out of three. That happens to me so many times, I swear. And that's the most annoying thing. It makes me want to give up whenever I get like nothing, 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 nothing for the princess attempts. It sucks, but you'll eventually get the drops. Don't, don't worry about the drops not coming. It's just bad luck. Like it's just all RNG based. I think the drops of the princess pieces are like 33% or something. Yeah, it's low. Well, don't worry. It will drop eventually. Don't spend diamonds on princess resets. I don't think it's worth it at all. I did not spend a single diamond on princess resets. Here. Did my wardrobe count go up at all? Let's check out my wardrobe. Oh, Still 99%. I am so close to 100, I swear. Also because they added a bunch of new stuff, like stuff for the new event that I haven't gotten yet. Eventually, I will hit 100% wardrobe without being a V15 player. That's my goal. All right, everyone, that's all for me. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. Subscribe or I'll delete your love Nikki account. Peace, peace.